Yo, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Culturally Sound. It's your man, the D. Going on with Alex. It's Alex. We back. And we back. Yeah, for another one. Yeah. What's, What's been up, though, you? man? Nothing much. Just got off work. You know what I'm saying? Right, so glad it's the weekend. Yeah, yeah, shit. I was off today, and I fucked around, and like I said, ain't did shit, bro. Just been around the house, been lazy as hell. Uh, so okay. Been cleaning up, fucked around, got on the game, and the whole day done went by, bro. I'll bet you was on that 2K. Hell, yeah. 2K, fucking YouTube. Like I said, not doing a goddamn thing. What team you on? Uh, I got a point guard that played for the Pelicans, and then I got a small forward that played for... Yeah, who I fault small forward for? Philly. Oh, okay. See, yeah, I should have went to the East. I got a small forward that play for Golden State right now. I was playing with the Timberwolves. Mm-hmm. But after we got knocked out by LeBron in the playoffs, I was like, oof. I love you, Cat, but you just not you just <laughs> not good enough, bro. So I ended oh, up bro, you got the uh my fault, you got the screen split right, don't you? So that's how you my shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. But uh, yeah, what you saying? My fault. Yeah, my small forward. He played for Golden State right now, but I ain't played with him in a couple months. Mm. I'm having fun with this point guard. Got him on the Clippers right now. Oh yeah, I did the same thing. Like I said, my small forward. I ain't played with him in a minute. But I, like you said, got the uh, point guard trying to see what that's about. Yeah. It's a completely different position. You it is. You come with the ball and shit. My three-point shot is trash, though. I built him kind of like yeah, – I wanted him to be kind of nice with three. My shit, trash. my shit trash, too, right now. I think I'm in my, like, maybe fourth or fifth game. So, like, I just – Oh, you just started, started him. Yeah, yeah. Just Dang, started. you got to grind. Hell, yeah. <laughs> got to grind. I, I ain't paying for that damn VC. Hell, no. See, I'll buy, like, $5 worth of VC here and there, but I already got so mm-hmm. much money in there already that – Oh, yeah. That's what I do. I just took the points that I earned from my small forward and mm-hmm. used most of them on my point guard. So I got mm-hmm. up a little bit, but that shit's still trash right my now. My point bro. guard, I think he a 90 right now. So that's what's up. It'd be me, KG, and Kawhi tearing it up. But you know what's crazy? Kawhi not that nice in the game, bro. Nah, they Playing did him dirty with him? in the game. They did him huh? dirty in the game. Yeah, they did do but him you dirty. you get fucking LeBron, that nigga's a goddamn god. He always been like that, though. That's a fact. On fucking 2K. My nigga, my allergies have been on goddamn my dials in the last two say, days, bro. Yo, eyes look a little puffy. Yeah, oh, shit. I ain't even noticed that. But, yeah, it's this one right here, bro. It should been bothering me all, like I said, last two, three days, bro. You ain't got that Claritin? Nigga, I done done everything. I done the, uh, the Claritin, the fucking the, uh, artificial tears, all that shit. Ain't none of that shit helping. What the fuck is I artificial tears? Uh, it's like, uh, shit, I ain't got the... I ain't got the bottle, but it's like for like dryness and shit like that. Dryness. And oh, shit okay. Like that. Yeah. But damn, oh, I ain't even sure like that though. God damn. I just not noticed that shit. Mm. Fuck it, we here now. <laughs> hey. So, we got any gossip this week? My nigga, we picked the perfect time to come back, bro. Yeah. Where you want to start at? You want to start with Meg and Tor? Yeah. You start with Nick Cannon. New. Okay, Meg and Tor. Yeah. All right. So, actually, now nah, let's get the Nick Cannon out the way because I'm about to have fun with the Meg and Tor. Uh, all right. We do, we do Nick Cannon first. Okay. So, let's see. Damn. Um, if you haven't heard, Nick Cannon was on his podcast recently. Uh, Cannon's classes, and he said to me, he told the truth, but he basically broke down like um, the history of white people coming from the Caucasus Mountains, and he mm-hmm. he used the he used the word savages, called them the the original savages or the um, I guess the first savages, just because of the way they was living when right. they were in the Caucasus Mountains. So Viacom put out a statement saying that they were ser- basically serving all ties with him. And if you don't know, Viacom owns damn near everything we watch on TV. Damn near everything we watch on BT, VH1, MTV, Comedy Central, Comedy Central, Cartoon Network, maybe Nickelodeon too. Yeah, I believe so. Oof. And it's just a couple more. But they basically, 
basically took my man, trying to ban my man Nick Cannon off TV. So now, I mean, the conversation is just, we got to get behind Nick, basically. We got to support him and anything he do. I did see uh, Diddy posted something saying that um, that he needs to come to a revolt, which I think he do. He I do, too. Revolt. Now, see, I had questions about that. Like, do they own his show? I, I want to know how that works. Is he okay. the CEO so, of okay. Wild and Out, or does he own Wild and Out? So he's a partial owner of Wild and Out, because I was going to get to that. But he was, he recently posted something, and I missed that one, but I seen uh, somebody, I seen another blog post it. But he was posting something basically trying to get full control of Wild and Out. So I'm guessing he's a partial owner, and they own enough of it to where they can keep the name, basically. And mm. I'm sure they can keep certain, certain uh, qualities okay, of it so, where he can't take it to another show. So I'm guessing they own the IP? Yeah. Or they own enough of it to where, like I said, they have control of it. But so not he might be it. asked out. How he can't even take it to Revolt, even if he wanted to. I mean, he can't. He can't take Wildin' Out, but he can still take a show and make it similar enough to Wildin' Out to where it's like, all right, we we still fucking with it. I mean, it's like same thing with uh Joe Budden and uh Everyday Struggle when he went to um Revolt and did um uh State of the Culture. State, yeah, State of the Culture. It's the same thing. We supporting the talent. We're not really supporting the the name of the show. Right. You can call but it show whatever, but the, that first, the show people is, on the show. That show was too damn big for him to just lose like that, bro. It's been fifteen I mean, but, years. I mean, but like I'm saying though, it's just it's just the name, really. I mean, it's the name, and I'm sure it's maybe certain games that they play on it, maybe. But I mean, like I said, you could take it to Revolt. He could start his own shit and just make another show, make the same show, pretty much. And just call it something else, and we still gonna rock with. Well, it. see if they own the IP, then though that could get a little dicey. You know, well, what I'm saying? yeah, but like I said, he could make a show. He could still make a show doing something. Because now yeah. you do you think the cast is gonna roll with him or? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But what if they locked in the contracts, like Carlos Miller and them? Mm, I ain't think about that. I ain't think about that. Well, if they not if they're not airing the show, then I would guess that I'm sure they're gonna air the show. It's just not gonna have Nick Cannon on it. Well, from what I was saying, they took it off because it was uh, Wild and Out supposed to come on the day that that happened, like it blew up or whatever. Mm -hmm. They took Wild and Out out of like the rotation of the show or uh, of the channel, or whatever. And they that would be dumb them. as hell on their part. That's just what I seen. So as far as that, I really don't know, but. Because you I already mean, have sure the talent, you already yeah, have the say, viewers. I'm sure the uh, the the uh, cast they can do side contracts and still work whatever Nick gonna have going on. Because all the show, all the uh, episodes that's coming out now was recorded last year anyway, so they still okay. got episodes in the tuck. But as far as moving forward, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, that's probably why they took it off because they were pre-recorded and Nick Cannon mm -hmm. was on them. Yeah. So maybe they calling everybody back in, like, "Hey, we got some, but then we got some it's episodes like, to do." It's it's quarantine, so it's like, can y'all even record right now? True. You feel what they I'm could saying? in Atlanta. Like, they could do nah, it in uh, Georgia. Georgia closed. They shut back down. Mm-hmm. Because well, uh, the shit. mayor, the mayor fucked around and got uh corona. The, it, it was oh, either shit. it was the mayor or her son or some somebody her friend. Somebody close enough to the mayor got it, but yeah, they shut down Georgia. Sheesh. Yeah. Because I thought but Tyler Perry was still doing stuff at that big ass studio he got over there. He I think may they have been, but he may have been, but like I said, they just, like, it just recently happened. Like, I think this week. Oh, so they down, just so. shut back down. Either this week or last week. Maybe. Oh, so Viacom hurting right now. I would be sick if I was Nick. And then you got to think of all the other shows that Nick was doing because he was on the, uh, wasn't he on like Mass Singer? Got Talent or, yeah, yep. Mass Singer and something else he was hosting. Yeah, so and I like, think, I think like you said, America's Got Talent because yeah, he I was a host. I wasn't sure about that. I know he, I know he hosted a lot of shit. Nick be doing a whole lot of shit. A whole lot he of shit. He did a bag, but he just lost out. But I mean, shit, he still got his radio show. Yeah. He still got his podcast. And then he got other shit like, I put Nick in that category of like Kevin Hart, 
Joe Budden, uh, Steve Harvey, where, wherever uh, Tyler Perry, wherever they go, they can create some new shit. That's true. Pop. That's true. Because see, now for me, I always thought Nick Cannon was kind of corny, but I always saw him as a genius for like mm-hmm. the content and stuff that he could put out there and his ideas. Like mm-hmm. he is so smart. He is such a great businessman. But I always thought he was a little corny. I ain't gonna cap. So as far as, as, far as like what the way he puts stuff out or. No, I just think he's corny himself, but the way he puts stuff out is just, mm-hmm. like, second to none. But I would be heard about that mass Singer deal, though. That's the number one show in the country, I think. I mean... I mean, we don't of, watch it, yeah, but, I mean, you know, middle America, they be, they be eating that up. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but it's like, at the end of the day, if I can't be myself, I don't even want to be on the shit anyway. Like, it's just like crazy. Said, like, I why would you... Else. I don't I get why he would do that. that. See, now that was stupid to me on his part. What do you mean? What, if what you work, say? yeah, you work for these people. You work for these people. Why would you go and like, yeah, but at the same, at the at, mean, in the back same. of your mind, you got to know like the audience that you are a host of America's Got Talent and Mad Singer, two predominantly white shows. Like I said, there's not black people watching them shows. It's mm-hmm. white middle America. Who and you work for Viacom? You got three shows under Viacom, and I'm sure they all, some of them Jewish, some of them white, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I just feel like he's too smart to. He fucked his bag up, and there ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Whether you agree with what he said or you disagree with what he said, either way, I mean, in the back of his mind, he gotta know I'm working for corporate white America. Why would you I go mean, up there and? But at the same time, it's like the shit he said wasn't. I mean, ain't like he was lying. Ain't like he was up there lying. But like, did, I, did you that's watch neither it? here or there. Nah. But that's yeah, neither. I, 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 watch, I don't I really, I don't really agree with all that stuff. It feels like a little, like it seemed racist as fuck to me, for real, for real. And I get it. I'm not supposed nah, to be on the have, white person's side, you but have, you must have just watched the the clip, bro. I watched the whole. I watched the whole hour and hour and like 15 minutes or whatever it was. It was like I said to me. With no lies told, my nigga. He was just telling some shit that, I mean, if you look back, just look back through history, shit is the truth. Like, and that's what I'm saying. That's neither here or there, but you got to have the wherewithal to know, like, your bosses are listening. At the same time, you got to, like you say, you got to be me, got to tell the truth, too. So it's like, I'm not going to compromise who I am for a bag. Three bags, though? Me personally, I mean. He just lost his show. Over, I mean, but potentially I mean, being Cannon, a racist, like I said, Nick Cannon is one of them. He always gonna have something coming in, so it's like, and yeah, that's true. I could, I could right see him now, teaming but, up with Diddy for sure. That would be a good move. But yeah, Revolt not right big now, enough yet. Ain't nobody really watching Revolt like that. Come on. What was the last thing you seen on Revolt, bro? How often Fucking, you? Uh, uh, Breakfast Club. Uh, like I said, Joe Budden shit. Oh yeah, outside of it, I, they I, do outside have it. I really don't know to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I really don't know, but I mean, I, that's just that's just me personally because I don't have like I don't have cable and shit, so it's like I don't even have the Revolt channel. I just watch that shit because it come on YouTube and I know it be on Revolt. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like they also had the uh, the summons that they was doing. They got I mean Revolt got some shit. I, they I, do. I just don't know, just don't know but, anybody who really be watching it like that. I mean, I'm but sh- I'm sure a lot still, of people do for sure though. It's still, you got to think, though, it's still going to be Nick Cannon. So wherever he go, his crowd is going to come with him. Because it's like, it's literally a click of a button nowadays. It's like, you're not, ain't nobody subscribed to nothing. I mean, you're just subscribing to shit, getting notification when it comes. Okay, Nick Cannon got a new show coming on, whatever. All right, well, I'm, I'm tuning in to that now. Like, it's Me not, personally, like said, the wilding out shit is just a name. Like, he going he gonna to be good. Trust and believe, he going to be good. Oh, for sure. I just feel like, like I said, I just think it was kind of he should have been he should have known better than to marginalize like I mean I can I what can, you could say is like half his fans. I can understand what you're saying, but like I said, at the same time, I'm sticking on the side of number one, I told the truth. Number two, I'm, okay, I'm being me. But that that's subjective though. Is it though? That because truth I mean, was subjective. That depends on who listens to it. That's there's no factual evidence that claims that, like, that truth well, is subjective. I'm, I'm not that well versed in that topic, to be honest, so I can't, 
I can't call it truth. It's an opinion. It's a very strong opinion, but it has no scientific uh, evidence it's, or it's a very it's a very provable opinion too. I'm not, I'm I'm just saying going off history. I mean, look now, these motherfuckers is throwing fucking temper tantrums and shit because they gotta wear a fucking mask for their health. What type of shit. I mean, is that? hey. And but like I said, that's neither that I mean, yeah, you're right. Like I said, you're right. I'm not well enough versed to have a back and forth about it, but the shit the shit they was talking about resonated I with you. In it. Yeah, a lot. Okay. A, little, a lot. All right. That's so, a lot. That's, and mean, that's how I gotta put it, because like some people are gonna see it as truths, but we have mm-hmm. to be fair here. They're not technically truths. You know what I I'm mean, saying? I mean, if we be honest, all the motherfuckers that got mad was the white people. So Well, yeah. I mean, when you telling Jewish people like like, come on, bro, like but I mean, what what did the what did the even the Bible? What did the Bible describe Jesus as? Bronze he was a Jew. Hair wool. I don't see no white people with no hair wool. No bronze. Okay, but Jew, like, Jesus was still Jewish. I know. I I'm not saying he wasn't Jewish. I'm just saying he wasn't white. And he no, he was, definitely wasn't white. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, I but mean, everybody like makes Jesus what they want to want Jesus to be. Because I guess he's supposed to be a representation of us. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to see ourselves in Jesus. Therefore, every other culture, whenever they depict Jesus, is going to reflect them. I mean, yeah, but like I said. And unfortunately, we live in a white America, so our Jesus looks white. But, nigga, you go to Africa, Jesus is going to be white. My Jesus ain't white. I'm saying the way they depict him. I'm saying the way they depict him. That even when I was growing up, that picture of white Jesus, that nigga always looked weird to me, dog. That, that was Michelangelo. Like Michelangelo uh drew that drew up that Jesus. Yeah, it was um I forgot the guy's name, but it was a a king or emperor, whatever the fuck they was called back then. Mm-hmm. He got um he was it Michelangelo, whoever, whoever painted the first that first picture of him, he got it, him to paint it, his son. Yeah, Leonardo. I don't know. I, I knew the guy because I looked all this shit up one time. Da Vinci. Time ago, but I forgot. I think it was Da Vinci. Yeah, Leonardo Da Vinci. I'm pretty sure he was the one who drew him up. Uh, let me see. Are you? I'm not gonna waste time to look all this shit up. But yeah, like I said, I knew, I knew it was a king's son who is in the who the, who the mm-hmm. drawing was of. And then, like, pass it around saying that it was Jesus. So then when it was time for him to become king after his father passed, like, the people around in the nation or whatever looked up to him as godly, basically. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I did a whole a whole deep dive into this shit a while ago. I just can't remember. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. Yeah, I thought it was Da Vinci. No, I meant... I, I, oh, I the king's saying. name or the prince yeah, or whatever. Yeah, king, yeah, yeah okay. The king and the prince, yeah. I can't remember that name. But uh, yeah, that shit is all on Google if you want to take a second. Check it out, it peoples. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, yeah. whether, you resi- whether you believe what he said or you don't believe what he said, either way, I still think that probably not something he probably should have put out there in public, considering he has so many ties and obligations to... I mean, the but, very but, same people. Like Joe Budden could get away with saying that stuff. He don't work for nobody. Mm. I mean, you know what I I'm mean, saying. I I kind of I, I kind of sort of agree. But like like I said, I'm more leaning on the side of number one, freedom of speech. That would be number like two. I'm, that would be like Joe Budden going on State of the Culture and talking about Diddy like with crazy allegations or something like that. Like. What the hell do you expect gonna happen? I mean, I can see, I I can see that side too. But regardless, I stand with Nick. So if Nick wanna get a fucking Patreon, nigga, I'm with it. If you wanna revolt, nigga, I'm with it. Wherever you at, my nigga, we streaming your shit. See, I I ain't gonna cap. Shit. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not. I'm not about to do all that because I wasn't the biggest Nick follower anyway. You know what I'm saying? So just because he lost his job over to some shit that he said i'm not about to i mean i want to see a black man go you know what i'm saying so by all means get your bag whatever you got to do i'm a you know i'm rocking with you but 
as far as paying for his paywall, I'm not subscribing to your Patreon, my guy. I'm not going to go and listen to your podcast because I wasn't doing it before. You said some, bro, you, you said really? some off the wall, huh? Really? I, you got some shit on there, bro. You check your shit out. You, you be having some, some real, some good conversations. Conversation. Hell yeah. I might check it out then, but I, I, I just wasn't ever the biggest Nick follower. So I, I watched it from time to time. I just hadn't kept caught that one. And that was actually from like maybe two two weeks ago, I believe, and it just went viral like earlier this week. But yeah, he got some he got some shit on there, bro. I fuck, I really fuck with Nick. That does really suck though, bro. Nick. Losing losing the biggest show in America. I mean, potentially two of the biggest shows in America with America's Got Talent and Mass Singer, and then your own show that you put your blood, sweat, and tears into for the past. Two decades almost uh, over I mean, a couple, like over one episode. Like, that's what I'm saying. Was that episode worth it? I mean, that one episode just the, lost you the, hundreds of millions of dollars. It was in the vein of what the show usually is. So, I would say so. Like I said, I mean, it really just depends on how you look at it, bro. To be honest, it depends on personally how you take it, but. Like I said, I don't feel like you're telling no lies. So yeah, I'm just looking I at it from a business standpoint. That's where yeah, I'm at with yeah, it. I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Maybe he could have said it differently, but like I said, it's not. If you if you say it differently, it's like I'm not really being myself. I'm not giving my actual opinion on the shit, and that's what this shit is for. That or sometimes it's just the wrong place and the wrong time to be talking about some shit. Like keep that to yourself. I'm. Again, you you have to watch the whole thing to see how the conversation got there, bro, mm -hmm. and where it ended after that. But it's 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 worth it's worth a listen. It's worth a watch. Shoot, I, I ain't losing hundreds of millions uh, over one episode, Alex. I mean, I get if, if from a business standpoint, I understand. But again, I'm just on the side of I got I got to be me. I got to put out what I want to put out, and hey. I feel you. I feel you. But yeah. uh yeah, we can like I said, I'm I'm with you, I'm with you, Nick. Wherever you're going, I'm going, my nigga. Uh let's see. We can move on. Uh all right. Egg and Tory shit. He's five two. <laughs> Bruh, this shit is getting wild. So if you if you don't Okay, know, so break it down. Go from the start from the top. Okay, so the past, this past weekend, which would have been the what the twelfth, mm, yeah, Sunday, yeah. Saturday night into Sunday morning, the eleventh into the twelfth, Meg and Tori were some where they were at I think Kylie Jenner's house or somewhere mm -hmm. with Kylie Jenner at a food party. So, from what is out now, they leave the food party, they get into what they say. I think they, it was an argument. See, okay, what I heard was they were. Maybe at Tori's house, chilling in the spool. Him, Meg, and no, from Kylie. From what, I was, from what I was saying, it was a pool. It was a pool party somewhere with Kylie, and then it was this. Everything happened after they left. Cause I heard, I thought they left after the pool thing and went to a party, and then um, some shit happened outside the party, and then shots got run, rung off. They all hopped in the whip. And you know the um, new news. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly where. It, regardless, it was after the pool party. <clears throat> so it was sometime after the pool party. It may have been on the way to another spot or something. But allegedly, Nick. I mean, not Nick. Uh, Tori and Meg had been seeing each other for a while, and they saying that it was an argument because Meg decided she wanted to end things with Tori. And Tori wasn't having it basically, and somehow, some way, or for some reason, he pulled out a gun, was waving the gun around. They saying that the she gun had a knife. went off. They saying she had a knife, and that's when he pulled the gun out. No, you talking about this shit? I posted, bro. Oh, was that nah, fake? No, no, nah, nah, that was a joke. That was from uh. <laughs> that was from a Hall of Night. See, that was the Hall Oh, of Night. okay, okay. Yeah, he shot me in my pinky toe. Nah, that nah, that <laughs> wasn't real. That wasn't real. I was about but, to say, um, I thought she had a knife. Nah, 
for some reason, like I said, Tori takes out a gun. They said he was waving around in the in the truck. It accidentally went off, hit Meg in the foot, and somebody called the police. They showed up. They had they was going to arrest both everybody at first, and then they named Meg as a victim, and they ended up arresting Tori. Mm. And right now it's it's real up in the air as to where the gun came from, what the argument was actually about, if they actually argued, if Tory was actually protecting Meg from somebody else, if Tory possibly set him up, if Meg's best friend possibly set her up, nigga, I, this story is all over the fucking place right now. And Meg he got to remember, he Canadian. He probably ain't even allowed to have not a single type of gun in America. That I don't know. To be honest, I really that nigga got to be here on a work visa. He ain't no citizen. Like I said, I I really don't know about that, but you might be right. But I yeah, all them niggas here on the work visa: Justin Bieber, Drake, Tory. Oh, see, probably I know that. yeah. I didn't know that. But they um, not citizens. Yeah, as of right now, as of right now, Meg. Uh, oh, Meg had to have emergency surgery that that morning, that night, whatever. But uh, as of right now, Meg is in recovery. Um, Tori is still in jail, as far as I know. And yeah, it's just up in the air as to what the real story is. They do How have. Hasn't a, he bonded out. I, I see. I don't know. Would it be in a gun? Would it be in a gun charge? An actual shooting? I I, I have no clue, bro. I have no clue. He would still be able to bond out, right? Mm. Unless they make them a flight risk or something like that, I guess. But I mean, they could they could be the case. Mm. Like I say, he could go back to Canada and it's like, nigga, fuck y'all. <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah, as of as of right now, like I said, it's just up in the ass to what the actual story is. And my nigga, I'm gonna be honest, I can't wait. I can't wait to figure out what the <laughs> fuck is actually going on. Cause uh, Meg, one of Meg's um producers, he posted, he tweeted something and deleted it. But it was something along the lines of. Tory, like basically watch your back, mm -hmm. shit. And then uh, the best friend put out a statement saying that she didn't shoot Meg, she didn't set Meg up. So like I said, shit is just up in the air right now, my nigga. And who the fuck knows what's actually going on with this shit? Damn, yeah, because I remember seeing Tory and Meg's live back at the beginning of quarantine. Yeah, they, yeah, they've been they've been hanging out a lot, but like I said, this. These stories has come. Some of the stories has come out of saying that they haven't seen each other. That's got to be the and weirdest couple to see out in public, though, bro. That's what I'm saying. Cause it's like Tori's like right here, and then Meg is like up here, way up here. Oh man! But I mean, hey, if sex hey, got to be trash, I don't know about shit from Meg. You no, I'm saying you got Meg fucked I'm up. saying, bro, he can't tame all that. You ain't taming that <laughs> stallion, dog. <laughs> He ain't, he ain't big enough to ride that ride. Nah. <laughs> Nowhere near. Yeah. I I don't know, bro. This shit is like I said, just all over the fucking place right now. Uh, but they do have video of them being arrested. You can see Meg outside of. You can see Meg getting out the truck. And you can see she's limping and she's leaving like blood, blood marks on the ground. But yeah, bro, it's it's so many stories out that nobody knows. Who did what? Why? And she wasn't a savage know. that night, was she? <laughs> we'll never know, bro. She wasn't no savage that night. Oh, I'm a man. savage. No, you not. Hey, I got a theory about short niggas. Like, why can short niggas sing like that, bro? <laughs> Tiny niggas be singing they asses off, bro. Fucking Jacquees. That nigga. John Legend. Goddamn. Jacquees is like maybe five. Two or something like that, bro. What is up with all these celebrities being this short? It's like a weird, like Illuminati thing. Like, is that the prerequisite? Like, goddamn. Oh shit, I don't know nothing about that. Yo, I think short niggas, since they short, they got they got like they like they singing box or they voice box or whatever, gotta be shorter too, right? That's <laughs> like anatomy, right? So maybe maybe it's just stronger because they ain't got to travel as much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm thinking that might be the case. 
that's funny. Um, I, I was looking for it, but I thought it was something somebody posted something else about this uh, update about it, but I don't I don't see it no more. But yeah, uh, right now Meg ain't on ain't on social media. Tori obviously ain't on social social media, so it's kind of quiet right now. Did we but even Meg, hear anything from his team? I not that I seen, bro. Mm. Not know what I seen. That's crazy. But, but uh, at first, there was a point that Meg had cut her foot on some glass, and then she did make a Instagram post saying that she was actually shot in the foot, mm. and that she's in recovery. But I'm, I'm looking it up. I want to see right if now. Tori actually, if his team said anything. That's all she wrote right now. I'm not really. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't see nothing on Tori's social media. Nothing. Nah, on they ain't said shit. I don't see they just let it. TMZ right now. They just let that rock. But I mean, regardless, I, I'm. It would be an open case right now, so it's like it's only so much that they can say anyway. Mm-hmm. Damn, like I said, Charlie I believe Pong. I believe he's still in jail. Damn. Damn. Got lost in the sauce on Instagram real quick. That's why I need to be focused. That's crazy. But what else we got? I mean, shout out to them. I hope everything works out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope yeah. Meg has a speedy recovery. I, I hope. I hope Tori ain't do that shit. Because all this sounds like an accident. I mean, it do, but at the same time, it's like, my nigga, why are you waving? Why are you threatening the, your girl with a gun? Facts. Just because she's saying she's trying to leave you. I, allegedly, that's what the, like I said, that's what the alleged story is, that she was trying to break up with him or whatever, and he wasn't having it. So it's bro, like, my she's nigga, a why stallion. You, you got to let horses run free, bro. <laughs> Come on, real. dog. But it's like, yeah. Stay in your lanes. My nigga know me. You bro. get like, you, I don't think you... <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your lanes. I just got that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But yeah, I I don't understand, bro. But we we'll see eventually, maybe. But hey, yeah. shout out to them, man. Yeah, shout out to them. Like I said, I hope man recovers and everything. But some wild shit going on, bro. Twenty twenty, bro. Then, it, bro, it's some more shit. Cause I seen some shit, and I don't I don't know too much about this. But I seen some with the Migos and Coach uh, Coach K or P. Mm-hmm. Said that uh, they deals is fucked up. Well, I mean, basically the same, same shit. All the new artists, all the artists eventually realize they deals fucked up. The managers getting more than than they thought they was and shit like that. But yeah, I seen some shit posted about them, but that shit was long as fuck, and I wouldn't. So Qu- offsetting them was or Quavo and them was talking about P or. Was P and one, them talk like one way or the other, but like I said, I seen the shit. It was long as fuck. And I actually just seen it like right before we got on here. But I don't, I don't know what it was all about. I seen the headline was saying that, I mean, basically getting jerked. Uh, inside the headlines. Migos. Yeah, the Migos was uh something about they did was fucked up. I mean. Not but then again, you would think they would be out of the like obligations and stuff by now. So, I mean, it just depends. How many albums they got? Two or three? Uh, three? Nah, bro, they got. They got individual five. albums. Do they? I mean, the Migos themselves. They got. I believe they got five, bro. Ain't no I way. Think. Hold on, let me look. I'm looking on Apple Music right now. I know they got culture. All right, culture is one and two. Yeah. Uh, YN two. Young Rich Nation. They got what? Well, some of these might be actually mixed. I don't I know. Think I think some of those are mixtapes. I think yeah, the I only know. albums they got is for real, for real. Culture one and two. I thought those were their actual albums. Well, they got they got all of them listed under albums or Apple Music, but you know that shit get funny sometimes. So right. I really don't know. Huh. I really don't so know. So maybe they not out of their like label obligations yet. 
And then, too, I mean, you never know how long they signed for all that shit. That's what I'm saying. I would kind of think they signed for three to five albums. Who knows? Because the the last, even even if all of these are albums, they wasn't even really popping like that until, what, the last, really the last two. Mm-hmm. That's why I think those might be the only official album. Because, of course, of course, they had the singles, but, like, as far as their full albums, like, right. charting like that, it wasn't until culture wasn't even. Hmm. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta read up on that. We'll have to talk about that next time. But it's twenty twenty. Has got is a wild place, bro. It's, it's nasty, it, bro. Everything happened to my nigga. Everything it's nasty. Happened. We's done seen good and bad though. Like the verses. That's something that you know. Oh yeah, we talk about that too. The the yep. next verses is coming up is uh Snoop Dogg and DMX. Ooh, bro, why? Who asked for that? I don't know, but I get it for the old heads. I mean, but battle of the dogs. Outside of that, bro, this shit don't make no sense. No, nah, I don't. Because they, they two, they in two completely different lanes, in my opinion. I'm, I don't know that much about DMX, but I know some Snoop, and they, nah. Who you think, think winning it? Nigga, Snoop. I think, I think me, Snoop might me get it too. Easy, Snoop. Is. Yeah, I don't I know mean, enough DMX. That's what I'm saying. It's like DMX, I, and this might just be. My ignorance, but DMX ain't on the level of Snoop as far as big songs. I mean, lyrically, right. you can say whatever you want to, but as Ooh, far as I don't know, songs, though, I don't know. DMX do got some shit, like I mean, big DMX hit. got some shit, but dude, he ain't been putting out music as long as Snoop have. No, not a, have, not by any have as big of as bi- as many big hits as Snoop has. Hell no, because I'm DMX counting about hard. what. Big big hits from Snoop, like yeah, oh well. Then again, like I don't know. Yeah, fucking you got drop it like it's hot. Seven, fucking um, gin and juice. Um, shit, let me think. What's the shit with uh Pharrell? He said um, drop it like it's hot. Drop, somebody else got to think about that. So, I mean, Snoop just got some hits, bro. I'm I'm giving Snoop like. Six or seven major hits. Six or seven, bro. You got Snoop. Major, Fuck major hits. Up. Like his biggest songs. Like drop it like it's hot. Like, like you said, gin and juice. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. He got some hood. He got some hood classics. But I'm talking about like his major majors. None but a G thing. Oh yeah, that was a big one. Like I said, uh, next the next episode. Nothing but a G thing, baby. Ain't no fun. Come on, bro. I don't know if that was a major hit, though. It's a hood classic, but I I can't call it a major hit. Okay, I'll give you that. Uh, Two of America's Most Wanted with Pop. Come on, bro. Hold up. What DMX got? Beautiful. That's what I was thinking about with Pharrell. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. DMX losing this, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, Young, Wild, and Free. Yeah, who the fuck asked for this? This ain't even fair. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Who the f- I don't know, bro. I really don't know. Because he really only fucking, got, like, X gonna give it to you. Niggas was talking about fucking 50 and uh, T.I., and then this shit popped up. I'm like, bro, who asked for this shit, though? Where, where's this shit coming from? Yeah, like, like I like you said, outside of the dog versus dog thing, nigga, this shit don't make no sense. Where the hood at? Where my hood? Where my hood? Where, where the hood, hood at? at? And then he got X gonna give it to you. Um, and that nigga twenty twenty songs. He ain't making them twenty songs, bro. Nah, he not. Not nah, twenty he not. hits. He gonna be salty too. Watch. It's like, bro, this shit ain't even... Because off top, that's already Snoop up by 10 already. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Snoop can play some bullshit. Let him get all his hits off. Yeah. And then he just going to run the next 15 songs. It's like, my nigga, what the fuck you going to do? Because I like that Cholo song Snoop got. 
and for if I got Snoop, I mean, if I got DMX fucked up, please forgive me, because like I said, I'm not that. I I'm think I do. Yeah, I'm not too versed, but I know. I know, a legend. Like I, said, I, I know some Snoop though. <laughs> I know some Snoop, bro. I know some. What was that Snoop, song? Bro. Me and my Cholo, or me and my? I don't know what that one is, bro. Dang, it was like a storyline thing. You wouldn't believe what I saw. I saw Snoop Dogg. Some like, oh my I god! I know what you're talking about, bro, but I don't know the name. That was my shit back about, in though. the day. I do know what you're talking about, I, but no, I don't know the name of it. Damn, but no, yeah, my I don't, shit. I'm gonna have to look that up. This shit is gonna be lopsided, my nigga. Yeah, that's a that's a wash. That's a wash. And then we're not even we ain't even going into Snoop features. Oh I'm, shit! He got yeah. some other features. Like I said, he got the Pac features. He got the Dre features. He Sensual got, seduction, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Bro. <laughs> Who did this shit to DMX, my nigga? Who did this shit to DMX? Take it slow. Who did this shit to DMX? Smile, you got fucking smile, bitch, with Lil Duval. Come on, bro. Damn, can on, we bro. give that to him though? He can't play that. Nigga, smile. It's a fe- he featured on it. Everybody else been playing features. He can't features play that shit, features shit that they didn't, uh, they didn't produce all this shit. All he this can't, shit count, he can't get that long, off. As your, long as your name on it, my nigga, you can play it. That's man. Cool, I want to see Busta Bus on one of these, bro. Snoop and Busta would have been good. They would have been real good. And Snoop, Snoop still would have had that though. I don't know, bro. I don't know, Buster bro. Buster ain't got as many gin and juices as Snoop, bro. Buster got some shit, though. But Buster's on a whole lot of remixes, though. So I don't know. I don't know how they do with remixes. Who would you still, put against Buster? Like I said, I, I feel like Buster and Snoop. Yeah, I feel like Buster and Snoop. I feel like Cube and Snoop, maybe. Cube? No. Nah. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't. Cube. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say Q got. He ain't got as many. Me, pers- me personally, because just because my daddy fucked with Q so much, I know a whole lot of Q shit. But Q it would have had to be. It would have had to been Dr. Dre and Snoop. That would have been a good one. Nah, they couldn't because a whole lot of this shit would a whole lot of this shit would have overlapped. Oh, but then again, Dr. Dre mostly a producer. He would have to do be a producer, do a producer battle. Nigga, ain't nobody seeing Dre. Well, yeah, it would, might. It would be tough. For real, Mike. Yay done produce some crazy shit, bro. Yay versus Dre. Oh, I can't. Producer battle? Producer battle. I can't can't get with that, bro. Like, I fuck with, I fuck with Yay, of course, but my nigga. No, you being biased, my guy. My nigga, being biased, my guy. Way shit. He got Pac shit. He got. 50 shit, he got Yeah, we talking about, shit. but he we got, also talking about some J shit, some yay shit. I mean, it might be closer than I'm thinking. It, it might be closer than I think. Actually, if I think about it, yeah, that would be pretty good. That would be a good one. That would be pretty good. Because yay got some shit. But I, I, I just don't like think, I would, Dr. Dre is just too much of a legend. So it's kind of hard yeah, to I even talk like on his name. I feel like I would still give it to Dre, maybe. Uh, yeah, I feel like I would still give it to Dre. Because, bro, Dre got some shit. He got the game shit. He got Kendrick That's shit. That's true. He do got the game shit. Do he be producing Kendrick shit, or is that just like, does he executive produce the album? Probably executive produce, but I'm not sure. I don't know if he actually a producer on the album, though. You got California love. You got California love. Forget about Dre. Still Dre. No diggity. Still. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dre, getting, Dre gonna get Kanye the fuck up out of here, bro. The next yeah. episode. Explosive. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I think Dre will get Kanye the fuck up out Honestly, of here. Honestly, busting 50 might not be a bad battle, though. Yeah, that would be pretty good, too. That would be pretty good. Because they kind of got around that same amount of hood classics and shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, who? why ain't Luda go yet? Has Luda been on yeah, versus? Yeah, uh, him and uh, Luda and... Luda and... That was maybe a month ago. Luda and who? Nelly. 
Oh yeah, Luda getting Nelly up out of here, bro. Ah, uh, it was. I watched some of it. Nelly didn't really. He didn't do his song. He didn't play his songs right. I don't feel like so he kind of he kind of had the order fucked up. Yeah, he kind of lost it for himself for me. Damn. I, I watch. I watch maybe. I watched maybe about seven or eight, seven or eight rounds. It was kind of like. Uh, uh, All right. Well, shit. Since we already in the music. Um. Oh, yeah. Let's talk. I, I don't know nothing to drop today, to be honest, bro. Drake dropped or Drake and Khaled? Oh, bro, that bullshit. That, you about. heard it? Word. That's thank you. Cause that shit, <laughs> that's some was trash. That's some bullshit. That was some the, bullshit. Uh, it was one of them that was cool. I like uh, the, the um, other one. Yeah. The other one was some bullshit. I don't like Pop Star. Is Pop Star was that bullshit one for me? Let me see Pop Star real quick. That's when Drake was rapping. Trash ass verses. The beat was cool. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah, that one. That one was okay. That one was like some throwaway Drake shit. It's like facts. You don't really fuck with it, but if it come on, you ain't. I hated it. the but verses. The other one, the other one, bro. Where he's like fucking whispering or some shit. Oh that shit yeah, is fucking garbage, my nigga. This shit right here, uh, grease. That shit is fucking. Yeah, bro. These why shit the fuck did he put that shit out? I don't why think Drake had anything to do out? with these, bro. I think Khaled just owned those, owned the verses, and mm-hmm. the song. It was just like, well, shit. Let me drop. I I'm thinking it was going to prove it. Yeah, but I mean, but you know, Khaled, Khaled, weird. Khaled will buy your verse, my nigga. It's my verse now. Yeah. But yeah, that shit. Like I said, the pop star one is. It's cool. Like I said, if it come on, I ain't mad at it. But fucking Grease, my nigga. Fuck Cause that. I don't think I don't think Drake said anything. I don't even think he promoted these, did he? Yeah, I don't I don't either. I did see uh they posted he was posting pictures supposedly in front of Rihanna's house or Rihanna's brother's house or something like that. So whatever the fuck that shit's Oh be. no, he did he did uh he did do some promotion. Oh he did. Yeah. At DJ Khaled, Grease and Pop Star out now, open for business, serving all summer. Grease is fucking trash, bro. Don't Grease both of them shits was low key trash. trash. I mean, I can't, I ain't gonna argue with you. Like I said, Pop Star is cool, but Grease is definitely ass cheeks, my nigga. <laughs> like, Could you even put anybody in the verses with Drake? Who would? With Drake? He got too many, bro. I know. I think I believe we had talked. I don't know if it was on the show or not, but we had talked one time about Drake and Kanye. I still think that one would be pretty good. But then, it's like oh yeah, Kanye, I think we Kanye got the more produced bigger tracks. I feel like. But uh, let's see. Outside of Kanye, uh, Drake. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Kendrick. Hell no, Kendrick getting washed. Maybe Cole. Cole ain't got big that, enough. That's gonna be my that's gonna be my personal bias. I feel like Cole gonna wash in. I don't know though. Drake got some shit, bro. Drake got too many. I got more slaps than the Beatles. Yeah, but Cole. Yeah. Yeah, you might. He, he, he. I don't know, bro. I, it, it, it's it's my. I know it's my bias talking, but I I can't say. I can't say Cole's on. I mean, Drake gonna get Cole out of here. I don't know, bro. He might go ahead and get Cole up out of here, bro. It ain't gonna be no complete slaughter. You know what I'm saying? But Cole, we talk, we talk he'll probably commercial. win about five, six. We talking commercial. We talking commercial success. Then Cole out. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. You, you might be right. I hate to admit it, but you're probably right about that one. Yeah, Drake got some shit. Shit, Drake and Travis would be. Hell no, Travis is getting washed. It'd I would like to see it. Man. Yeah, I, I'd fuck with Travis. It'd be more entertaining than fucking DMX. And DMX and Snoop. fucking Snoop. <laughs> see, I, I mean, I'm, like, I'm okay I mean, with no, Snoop. I'm okay no with both of their names being in versus, yeah. just not against each other. Yeah, that's just an odd. That's just an odd ass matchup to me, bro. That's odd as fuck. Honestly, I don't know who I would even put up against DMX. But then again, I don't know DMX like that. Yes. 
that's why my argument was kind of like shit. DMX and Ja, DMX and Ja might not be bad though. Again, I don't really know that much about fucking DMX, bro. So I can't. Even I then, can't, I, I, I would still get that to Ja Rule though. Where's uh, Ja? Let's see, uh, real quick. Did you see the fucking uh, Twitter trying to cancel Big Sean? Oh, because oh, of the yeah, not nah, Rivera. First of all, uh, rest in peace. The, For sure. Uh, is it, what's her name? Naya Rivera. Naya, yeah. Right? Okay, Naya Rivera. Yeah, but um, a couple years ago, if you didn't know, Big Sean and Naya Rivera used to date, and after they dated and broke up, Big Sean put out a, a song called "I Don't Fuck with You," which was basically like pretty much his shots. biggest hit. Yeah, but it was basically like subliminal shots at. Uh, Nye Rivera in that relationship or whatever. But it's like, my nigga, that shit was what? Four years ago? Really? Y'all wasn't canceling Three, him back then? Ago? It's like, like it's on, unfortunate that yeah, your ex it's, died, it's like, but... And then this uh, that too is like, niggas ain't even taking into consideration. Sean might be fucked up right now. For like, sure. You know, he, was just, he just was uh dealing with depression and shit like that. He was very vocal about that shit when he was Coming back, you sort of drop an album, then you just fucking disappear. No, no cap. If I was Sean, I would probably take it off the internet. You know, considering what's that? I wouldn't. I mean, true. That's just how I felt at the time, and she knew it. I knew it. Yeah, Everybody that's what I'm knew saying. it. That's like that. That was at the time, and then that's my ex. I could say yeah. fuck you to my ex. Y'all can't. I can. Yeah, it's like, but it's like, well, I seen. I woke up. I seen Big Sean with shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And then I see why I was like, oh, you niggas is. Really at the house, just bored as fuck. Plus, we don't even know what that girl did to that man. She could have been doing some crazy foul shit. And that's why you said, I don't fuck with you. It's just even beyond that, though, bro. It's like this shit was in the past. It's like, ain't no way he could predict that some shit like this was going to happen. Right. Like I said, three, four years later. Like, come on, bro. Niggas was just fucking stupid. Niggas was Yeah, they fucking, fucking that's just dumb. Uh, this like, nigga's just yeah. bored. Niggas ain't got nothing to do. Rest in peace to Naya Rivera and 100%. Reza, her son, is a son or a daughter? Son. I was seeing both. I was seeing nah, some articles son. saying son, some saying daughter. Okay, but yeah, her child, regardless of family, friends, and all that. Um, Let's see, moving out of that. You want to talk about the Kanye shit, bro? The Con- specifically the Kanye and Chance shit? Uh, they said this nigga Chance is on Twitter. Begging for another Kanye feature. Basically. That shit is crazy. Can you blame him now? Nigga, yes. Nigga, ain't nobody. I don't know, know about Kanye, Kanye for president. president. Y'all stupid Hell as fuck. Hell nah. He just, that nigga finna put out an album. He finna release a new uh, Yeezy line, something, bro. The season they better slap, coming. too. Nigga, he do this shit every fucking, every time he got something to drop, he does this shit. Every single time. Like, y'all dumb as fuck. He does. First off, just, Kanye not running. Like, come on, bro. Then he just put out a single with um, who was it? Ty Dolla and Skrillex. I yeah, think. and um, my girl, my homie in there. Um, dang, I forgot that girl's name. I didn't listen to. It. I know you said somebody uh last week. I yeah, said, I I still ain't check it out. But yeah, it's just he just he would. First of all, you with the Kardashians. And y'all already know that nigga, them motherfuckers do anything for some fucking publicity. And then it's Kanye at the same time. Like I said, he does this shit every time. Every time he got something about the drop, he mm-hmm. gets in the media and does some shit. Does some wild shit. And that's it. He always do. I don't know why. Like, come on. Y'all can't even be just like. But I feel like, bruh, it's some motherfuckers that's going to vote. That's going to actually vote for him. 100 it, really some it's really which a is whole stupid lot of as fuck y'all just taking away from like the boat fk twigs who i was thinking of i fuck with okay. fka twigs uh this is a girl from london oh that was the other person on the song oh, okay. yeah man yeah, this shit is just fucking wild bro and then it was uh you see chance got on there he said he he, was, he he basically went on this whole rant or whatever and then somebody called him out about some interview that Kanye did, and he was like, oh, wait, no, I haven't seen that. So it was like, my nigga, you caving for this nigga, <laughs> and you ain't really even seeing what the fuck he about. I had to walk that back real quick. Yeah, yeah like, I don't bro, know. This shit is wild. 
Yeah, this is dumb. This is fucking dumb. I mean, shout out to Kanye. Shout out to Chance, bro. Just put out slappers, bro. That's all I want from both of y'all. Just put out some slappers. At all. Nigga, our shit would crumble if Kanye became president. Shit already crumbling. You know how you can make 2020 worse? <laughs> Vote Kanye for president. Kanye. Yeah. Kanye president. That wild motherfucker. Bro, that nigga would lose his mind. Nigga, He's not even mentally fit. I mean, but then again, none of them really are. I, guess. I was going to say, you look at fucking Biden, that nigga don't know what the fuck he had when he saw something. That's true. That nigga be Trump dazed. No fucking better. So it's like, you going to take the bipolar nigga or the fucking senile nigga? Mm, but you don't know, though. I'd rather a nigga forget that he's a president than Kanye be like, oh, yeah, I love the earth and this and that. And then the next day, just bombing niggas like. Bro, it's talking some crazy shit. Imagine if you gave Kanye power for all the crazy shit he be talking, bro. Is that not fucking terrifying? <laughs> for real, that nigga got the codes of the bombs and all that shit. Facts. Bro, 2020 is a wild place. Putting flowers on them and then blowing people up with them or some shit. 2020 is a wild place, bro. <sighs> but, I feel sorry for people with kids out here because it's... It don't seem like it's about to get no better. Y'all brought y'all. About, uh, these they kids. Talking about, they talking about putting kids back in school in the fall and shit. Don't kill the kids, bro. Don't kill the kids. They need to stick with the homeschool and shit. They don't have to, but I know they saying like kids are losing the education and stuff like that. Like the test rates and stuff are just terrible. But I mean, I mean which is to be expected. I would, rather, I would rather have low test rates than fucking the kids dying and shit. Right. Or from what the what the studies are showing that the kids can't even get the it. The kids they carry it. Yeah, they and carry they it, but they could give it to the teachers. Yeah, get their family and teachers and all this shit. Sick, so I don't know. And then they talking about having social distancing in, in the school. And it's like, maybe for the older kids that would work, but like for elementary kids, it's like, yeah, they don't know what the fuck no social distance is. All they know is my, my niggas over there. I'm going over there fucking with my niggas. Facts. What's like, up, Kyle? What y'all talking about? Right. <laughs> fuck what y'all talking about. It, it, bro, it's just some wild shit. It's just 2020, shit. bro. But that's, that's all I had, bro. Same. Like I said, I don't... As far as music today, I don't know. Music. Not much drops. Um, I will throw out some recommendations though. Um, all right, what you got? All right, Dougie's recommendations of the week. Um, I fucked with uh this song called "Night Garden" by Benny B E N E E, um, featuring Kenny Beats. My guy, shout out to Kenny Beats. Um, real dope, kind of got like a Caribbean kind of sound to it. Mm-hmm. Um, Smile with WizKid featuring her, another slapper. Um, and Icy by Pink Sweats. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what I got. Oh, yeah, I did get to check out the Summer album. We talked about that. Well, we mentioned it last week. I checked mm-hmm. it out. That was, I fucked with it. I mean, like, like we was talking about, it's summer. It's one of them. You want them, you just can't go wrong with. Right. It. And this was the same. Um, let me see. My recommendation. Uh, JJ, the Prince of New York, or JI, the Prince of New York. He got two mixtapes out. Uh, Hood Life Crisis Volume One, mm-hmm. and Hood Life Crisis Volume Two. They dropped last year, actually, sometime. But I just got on to. The full project, cause uh, he got he got this song uh, "Need Me." Uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh shit! That right there. Yeah. Yeah. What niggas did you want? Yeah, that's him. But uh, yeah, I just got onto both of these uh, EPs. I fuck with them. Okay. I I definitely fuck with them. They they, they definitely worth a listen. Um. Also, Rod Wave through the wire. Um. Uh, I think it's just a single. Oh, okay. 
Um, also, Janae Aiko uh, put out oh, yeah, the deluxe version. Her, yeah, her deluxe version. And Tyler Yahweh, stunting on you featuring the baby. Which I checked out. Well, my favorite song, but. Did you check out the uh, Janae's deluxe? I mean, song. No, I did not check that out. I listened to one song, Summer 2020. Mm-hmm. And that was my shit, no cap. But other than that, I ain't, I ain't really check it out. Yeah, I, I listened to the album, but the deluxe. But yeah, that's yeah. all I really got. Yep, that that pretty much does it for me too. But oh yeah, Pop Smoke album. I listened to that finally. Yeah, how you? What you think? I fuck with it, bro. I fuck with it. It's I fuck with it. I gotta go back and listen to the other shit. See how that sounded. But this album, yeah. It's you see favorite. what I meant though, right? Like he definitely had an A side, B side kind of. Thing. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you could hear like when the when the the, the vibe. Uh, the songs trying to switch over, yeah, you can definitely hear that. But yeah, I fuck with it. Uh, the second half of the album, more so. Me too. I fuck with the whole thing. Yeah, because yeah, I, I feel like we've it. heard enough of the first side, you know what I'm saying? That's classic pop, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to always fuck with that. Oh, this is my first time listening listen to a full body here in general. So. Oh, okay. But yeah, I still fuck with it. But yeah, definitely around uh, what, maybe nine or ten you could you could definitely hear a switch mm-hmm. yeah i definitely yeah, fucked with good. the b side for sure it's good it's real good it's a, i still gotta give uh still gotta get on juice world i ain't get to check him out yet but i'm gonna get on him all right tonight all right cool um y'all know the deal man like rate subscribe comment uh hit us down in the chats you know what i'm saying we always love talking to y'all um, follow us on Instagram at Culturally Sound Pod. Yep. Um, you can hit us up with the emails. It would be cool if we had like some email questions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Answer them on the songs. Anything. Yeah, song recommendations, which y'all listening to. Yeah, Facts. That. And that's at Culturally Sound Pod at gmail dot com. Yep. Um, but yeah, man, I think we're gonna slide up out on out of here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out Jay Fields on the uh, intro. Intro. Outro yes, sir. Um, and I don't think we got any music this week. So if y'all do want something to be played, you know what I'm saying? You already know where to send it. Like I said earlier, culturally sound pod at gmail.com. Um, and yeah, man. Uh, thank y'all for listening. You beautiful, beautiful people. Uh, and that's going to be it. It's been your man, Dougie D. And we about to slide on out. Peace. She wanna fuck with the wolves.